Hey everyone, Monster Mike here. We're about to install these T-Rex arms on this 1975 Ford Bronco. Let me show you what's inside the box. Just make sure there's no visible damage on the outside. You don't want to be missing parts and then get, you know, a couple weeks down the road and then realize when you do your install that you don't have everything. So, of course, the other thing is you're going to want to open this up and find the installation sheet. That's going to have a index of all the parts that you should have included with your kit. As you can see, James Duff spares no expense in making sure you get your product without any damage. Just remember, this is a bad idea to cut this uh, packaging off with your knife. You don't want to scratch up your, your beautiful new powder coat. So put your knife away. And what I like to do is just grab right here and the sleeve just slides right off. And then find the end of your, uh, your wrap and just unwrap it. Just takes a second to get all the wrap off. And then, here you go. Look at that. Beautiful. So, opening up the second box, and this box is really heavy. What we have in here are the head units. And there's a really important step that you need to take as you can see, make sure you read before you get started. Those instructions are also included in the instruction sheet, but uh, it's so important that they're mentioned twice. Nice. All right, so I got everything laid out. I've got the instruction sheets in my hand. The contents is what I'm most concerned about. I want to make sure everything in the contents list is here in front of me. And the big thing that I'm looking for to make sure I've got a driver's side and a passenger side arm. That's a big thing I'm looking for first. Then from there, I'm going to I'm going to categorize and count all of the uh, hardware and make sure I've got two of these and all that. Once you make sure once you know you have all that, there's no damage. It's time to move on. Let's get this thing installed. All right, so just got done unboxing the T-Rex arms and there was a couple add-ons that I think you guys should consider when you when you make your purchase. Uh, the first one is, is these lower coil spring retainers. Uh, these here sit on top of the radius arm and then the coil spring actually uh, slides into this retainer and it keeps it from coming back out. Unlike your stock retainers are two piece and they can collapse and actually let your spring pop out of position. The next ones are C bushings and of course you know you should definitely consider getting new C bushings when you upgrade to T-Rex arms. The big reason why is the T-Rex arm already comes with built-in caster. So if you're running a two and a half inch lift and you got seven degree C bushings you're going to want to replace those with four degrees so you don't have too much. From there of course you want to also look at getting new control arm bushings. These are the bushings that are going to be right at your frame that mount the arms to the frame. All right, everyone, thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out the install video, and don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate it, and we'll see you guys next time.